Hey guys, it's AA25, and um, you're now looking at the f new 4.05 visualizer uh, being played right now. It's in the list, it's that first one there. And my guys might think I upgraded to 4.05, but uh, that's not true. As you can see here, Go to uh, system settings. System information. I'm still 4.1 M33 2. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get this visualizer even though you're on 4.01 M33. You just have to do a couple of FAS 0 modifications. Um, in my description, first thing you have to do is in my description, there are three links that I have. One of them is called Slim Fix. The other one is the 4.05 visualizers for 4.1 M33 fat PSPs and the other one is for the Slim. So if you have a Slim PSP, download the Slim visualizers. If you have a fat one, download the fat visualizers. And extract the files to your desktop or somewhere that you can easily access and remember where it is. After you download it, go head on to your PSP and you're going to have to change your UMD device to flash zero Just go ahead and exit now click select then you're going to go to USB mode let me just get a my USB wire thingy So USB mode, put that in, ok we're now in USB mode, I'm going to need to uh, zoom out, ok, then head on to your computer, autoplay thing is going to run and stuff, minimize YouTube, so first thing you want to do if you have never modified your Flash Zero before, take a backup of these five folders. If you're on, um, if you're on a slim, but on a fat PSP, you'll probably have six. Just back them all up into a folder called Flash Zero Backup and put it somewhere where you will remember and have easy access to. Okay, say you're not. Um, what happens if you're uh, if you cannot see six folders or not all the files in any of these folders? What you need to do is go on a Windows XP. I'm not sure about Vista or anything, but you'd go to down to Tools, Folder Options, and you'd get this window pop up. Go to the second tab, View. Then the first thing I want you to do is this Hidden Files and Folders. Say so Do Not Show Hidden Files and Folders. Change it to Show It to Show Hidden Files and Folders go down then you're gonna have this other thing high protected operating system files I want you to uncheck that you'll say recommended you could change it back if when you're done with this just click OK after you're done you'll all, you'll now see all of the files and folders copy them all into a backup and yeah so if you haven't already I downloaded these three things I have them on my computer and um, so I have a slim PSP so I'm gonna right click on this ROAR file my computer's slow so it might take some a, t a while for the, the that menu thing to pop up there you go and you want to click on extract here this is only if you have WinRAR but if you don't or if you do you click extract here zoom out you're gonna get that extracting window now you're gonna get two folders module and research resource so go back to your uh, PSP go into the VSH folder now you're gonna have two folders research and module you are not replacing folders what you're doing is you're gonna click module you're gonna get a bunch of files PRX files on this you're gonna go the module of this, double click, 
and you're going to copy. So now you have that and you have that open. You're going to copy these five files. Control A, Control C for easy copying. Go back to that, paste it, Control V. You're going to get this. If you haven't made the backup, say cance a uh, no or can cancel. If you have made the backup, just do yes to all. You can see that as in it's copying. You're done. Now just exit the module and go to the next folder. Resource. And you're gonna get a bunch of files, RCO, most of them are one bitmap and one DAT file. So minimize this. Go to your resource. I can find the mouse. Here it is. Go to resource. You have three files that you need to change. So you're going to do Control A to select all, Control C to copy. Go here. Control V. And you're going to do yes to all if you have already made the backup. If you're not, cancel. Then it copied. Now you're done with the USB connection. You can close this. You could close this since you're done with it. You could delete the files off your computer now. But uh, if you head over to your PSP, you can have um, exit USB mode. Pull that out, and if you did it correctly, if you click on the music app, it shouldn't freeze. It should go to your music. I mean, you did the sound, so you won't hear music. And if you did it correctly you should have the visualizer working and that's how you get it but there's a couple of things I have to explain first Boy, I added in the description a, sli a PSP slim fix you guys might be wondering what that is and what it is is that if you uh, make a mistake with when adding the visualizers to your PSP these are the original PSP slim files that you can put onto your PSP Slim only for PSP Slim don't attempt PSP Fats put it on the PSP Slim it's the original files it should fix any problems that you have with the visualizers and such if a, PS, a fat PSP put those files on their PSP they'll most likely have a semi brick and will need a Pandora's battery or Hellcat's recovery program to restore to 3.71 or 4.01 M33 so that's my vid Comments, questions, put them in the comment section, and thanks for watching.